Corey. Yeah. How are you guys doing? Awesome. Good. good. What's up, man? Uh, <clears throat> Cyrus. Yes. Ian. Yep. Chad. Chad. Okay. All right. Um, for one, I'm just going to say I've never... Everyone we've interviewed, I've been, eh, they're cool. But I am a fucking fan. Just, I'm awesome. just going to... When I was... You guys really got me through the... I was in the, the military, and when we were away, you have time to yourself. And that downtime is horrible, you know? And... Um, I used to work out and listen to you guys like cover to cover song all all killer no thrill uh, that's no cool thriller. awesome thanks and man I just want to thank you guys you know it yeah. sucks well thank you for there. your service first off but yeah, yeah I appreciate also, it thanks for the kind words alright so how do you guys like Ventura so far it, Ventura is awesome it's uh we used to play this venue all the time and it's it's been a while since we've been back we were at the Ventura Warp Tour last summer mm-hmm. so we all walk over here and it's like walk around this area but it's it's nice good nice weather today too yeah and i always love being right near the near the water because when you catch that breeze from the ocean it's it's beautiful yeah you know the day's almost over huh when yeah. you feel that breeze it's great so you guys have a show tonight yep that, is that correct yes uh you guys excited of course yeah like, like chad said we used to always play ventura theater so i mean i remember playing here probably what 10 years ago or something like that yeah and it's just it's obviously a place that's been around for a long time and it's a cool area around here so we always have fun when we play here sticks and stones tour yes yeah one. nice i mean 10 years since that came out man i can't even believe it like i was reading up on it i was like 10 years shit long uh, time do you guys have any plans on going back in the studio and making something else well, we have a record that's coming out. Actually, it's like a live record that oh. we recorded a couple months ago, and it's going to come out probably early fall. And we also recorded three new songs that we're going to put on that as well. Hell yeah. So that'll be coming out, like I said, in the early fall. And um, we're going to take the summer off, but after that comes out, we're going to be doing another tour in the U.S. as well. So, you know, we don't really stop here. Nice. Where, where's the next stop? Uh, the next stop, there we play San Diego tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow. And, you excited uh, about that one? Yeah, it's we're fun. talking out Again, there about playing, San Diego. Yeah, anywhere in California is amazing for us. Um, San, it's, San Diego too was like the <clears throat> for some reason was the first show to sell out on this tour like weeks ago, like the show. So like kids there are like pumped for this. Like yeah, so I'm pretty psyched. Man, I mean it's for one it, it's a it's an honor to even talk to you guys. I mean you guys, this band, you know, sort of made pop punk what it, what it is. Thank you. And as you know, there's so many people who came after you guys, and I mean, you guys and Drive Through, you guys yeah, really yeah. You were the powerhouse behind that, and um, it's just it's freaking awesome, man. It's cool. Thanks. Just like I'm in all, I'm in awe. Usually, I'm never like uh, you know <laughs> stuttering, but shit. Uh, what do you What are you guys into? What are you into? What am I into? Like, uh, what are you real passionate about, or what do you really like to do? Uh, I mean, when I'm home, I like I train every day. I do like Muay Thai. Oh, you do? Yeah, so I've been training for like three and a half years. So I, and actually it's funny, my gym just asked me to take my like first like fight, but I won't do it obviously because I don't want to break my, <laughs> break my hands and not be able to go on tour. But um, I do that every day when I'm home. It's like a separate family for me. Like I have a group of friends there that I see every day in the are gym. You, are you just like really into Muay Thai or do you venture off? I do into, other stuff too, but do? our gym, uh, it's called Legends. Uh-huh. It's in Los Angeles and they're... The owner and trainer, like, he's most popular for Muay Thai. Like, a lot of guys will, like, do a camp at my gym just for, you know, like, to get their striking skills. I go to a lot of movies. I love movies. Like, me and my friends, we have a gang called the Movie Gang. Right. So we every, like, weekend we'll roll, like, 15 to 20 deep to, like, a movie. <laughs> take, up, like, take the whole thing up. It's you just put fun. it on Facebook? Who wants to come? You know, just all our friends. Yeah. We just do like mass texts, and everyone will like meet up, and it's pretty fun. We do all right, that. that's cool. All right, I have two things. Uh, do you ever roll or? Are yeah, you- yeah, some, but uh, I don't. Um, jiu-jitsu is like the people that take it that I know are like really, really serious about it. So I like I don't even want to because I'm not super serious about it. I don't want to do that. I'm strictly Muay Thai. You know, I used to train with Half Gracie. Uh, that's cool. Made back in 2001, 2000, and. Um, like, I it was just natural to me because I'm like real like I wasn't a bully in school. I was just like real yeah. reserved and, um, and so I was always on defensive. I never really knew the strike or or an offensive strategy. Yeah, and so it just came natural to me. And once I started learning it, and I ended up beating a brown belt, and I was just like toting. I was like, "What's up? <laughs> yeah. Fuck you guys!" And then Half was, I don't know where he was. He was in the back or something. He heard me. And he was like, oh, you think you're bad? <laughs> I was like, no, no, I was just, you know, yeah. c- competition. 
And he was like, come on, let's see how bad you are. And uh, lo and behold, he separated my shoulder, and I never trained at that gym ever again. That is insane. <laughs> Both of my like pinky toes, because like when you pivot a lot uh-huh. on the mat, sometimes your you toe will get it. twisted. Yeah. No, like I like my I don't feel, my my left foot. I can't feel my pinky toe, which is like there from being broken. Ah, you don't need it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, we all do stuff like either Ian's um, Ian in Florida goes to, like every Marlins baseball game when he's not on tour. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm into I collect sports memorabilia. You do like game used sports stuff, so. I'm constantly trying to like make trades with people and trade music stuff for sports stuff. What's your favorite? Uh, so you're a Marlins fan? Yeah, I'm, dude, I have so much stuff. It's kind of hard to pick a favorite. It's crazy I mean, too because I don't know anything about like sports and stuff. And because of like him being a fan and, and trading and stuff, we get like pro like we get professional like baseball players and football players and all these people like in our dressing room hanging out he's like yeah you know who that was i'm like no he's like yeah that was like the pitcher for the fucking uh, the red Sox or whatever yeah. like oh, that's i mean that's kind of what i'm into i'd rather it's like in music i don't know i figure either i'm gonna want to hang out with porn stars or i'm gonna want to hang out with athletes and, <laughs> and, 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 the, and the porn star thing is not really working out yeah. it's not working out, <laughs> it's not working out so. besides the stuff it you could get porn stars you probably don't want to have anyway yeah. so um, um are you into football as well yeah you uh, what's your favorite football team um i'm kind of torn between that i like the rams a lot uh-huh. um my brother works for the dolphins so i also support them oh i fucking hate the dolphins i'm just gonna let you know <laughs> well i'm a buffalo bill fan man well, you know yeah, what? i'll tell you this uh, <laughs> we might have something in common because i hate dan marino so there it is the buffalo bills you didn't even think that there's a buffalo bill fan alive huh <laughs> um, yeah, but Richie Incognito played for the Bills for a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I love Richie Incognito. I think that he is the most dirtiest player ever. Yeah, he he came out to one of our shows when he played for the Rams. Oh, he did. Yeah, he's but, a funny yeah. guy. Are, he, are you like cool with him? Um, I wouldn't. We know each other. I yeah. wouldn't say that we're cool. But, but we I, I made like, him. I made him guitar picks with <laughs> his name on them. We but. get like tons of Rams gear because like his. His friend works for their, like... Uh, He's the equipment manager. Equipment manager. So we, uh, we get all, like, the pro Rams, like, stuff they wear and training, and it's pretty funny. The uh, the Rams, the throwback jerseys are, the, like, the fucking awesomest jerseys ever, huh? Yeah, I got a couple of those. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to buy I was gonna buy a Bradford throwback just because of how bad it looked. But I couldn't be walking around with a Bradford throwback. Um, not well, if you're a Bills fan. Yeah, I know, not if I'm a Bills fan. These would be a course. Fitzpatrick throwback or something. <laughs> No. Fitzpatrick, <laughs> that name is not to be spoken. This oh, not anymore, huh? <laughs> yeah. The great Kevin Cobb. Yeah. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I mean, I guess that's good, right? No, I mean, no. I mean, we I traded. Think it, I, I think in the sales, I think Jim Kelly. Jim Kelly, yeah. yeah should we talk cancer. about that? Did you hear about that? No, Didn't hear that about sucks. that. He has cancer now in his jaw. Melanon- melanoin? Melanona? Melanoin? That's horrible. Yeah, that's But you know what college he went to? Uh, Florida. University of Miami. Miami, He's yeah. a hurricane. I have, where, I have that's where I come in. I'm a huge, I'm a huge college football fan. So. You are USC. Yeah. All right, you guys are pretty good too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. OJ. Um, so, what about basketball? You into basketball? Uh, not really. No. No, I have I have a couple basketball things, but it's uh, basketball. The teams are a lot smaller, and the stuff's a lot more expensive, and the players aren't really as nice, so they're not really as giving. We got a we got a, so. a friend of the show. Uh, he's a Laker Sparrow. I don't know if you ever seen him at like the Laker games. He his, you know his his room is completely Lakered out. Like he has like a shoe from what, what does he have? It's like seven, Michael, Magic oh, Johnson Michael. Game Seven wow. Magic Johnson shoe. Uh, he's got pieces. Uh, he's got a chair from the Great Wrestling Forum. Like his, it's ridiculous. Yeah, I, I have him. like I have a, a double locker from University of Miami from the starting kicker and punter for, uh, before they knocked down the Orange Bowl. I got that. I have a ton of like uh, locker room chairs, locker room nameplates, jerseys, dry fits, like 180 bats, like 60 helmets. It's, that's it's like game music. Yeah, everything. Bases, everything. cleats. I mean, I got everything. That's f- I don't mess around. Yeah. <laughs> All right, what, do you, what do you think your most expensive memorabilia you have? Um, I don't know. For me, I don't put like a, a dollar sign on it. To me, it's just kind of like... To you. What's some people have like a man cave. Like my apartment <laughs> is the cave. <laughs> so it's like, for me, it's just about when I'm at home, 
just having positive things around me. Do you have a stuff you have is, a girl or you have a relationship? Um, no. Good. You stay away from that because as soon as you move a girl in or something, <laughs> oh, I don't like the, the locker. Oh, you need to get rid of it. It's staying. <laughs> So just stick with athletes and porn stars. And, you know, that's why I said <laughs> yeah. um, All right. I, favorite movie? Favorite movie? Yeah. Ferris Bueller's well, Day you, Off. Ferris Be- I love it. I just yeah, bought yeah. it the other day. Again, yeah, yeah. Uh, my favorite movie is Pulp Fiction. Great it's movie. Good movie, too. Yeah. Favorite movie? Uh, probably The Karate Kid. Karate Kid? Yeah. Jaden Smith? The f- no, no. <laughs> the, the original first one. <laughs> <laughs> the original first one. All right. Favorite movie? I would say Hollywood Nights or Bachelor Party. I never seen Bachelor Party. What's that one? What? Never seen Tom Hanks. One of Tom, Tom, Tom Hanks' best movie. It's like a big party. Okay, bachelor check. Party. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Bachelor right Party. Right back up, Crystal. <laughs> all right. Um, all right. Favorite movie? You you into wrestling? You guys into wrestling? I am. He's yeah. you are yeah. Yeah, WWE. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me too. Yeah, I'm really into it. Awesome. That. Who's your favorite wrestler? CM Punk. All time though. Of all time? Yeah. It's hard to say. Iron Sheik. Yeah, I'll go with that <laughs> one. He's so fucking funny, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's really hard to say. I will fuck generations. you <laughs> and make you humble. <laughs> All right, um, he's been saying that like that's his new shtick now. He like he goes around saying that like, he's gonna fuck people to make Iron him Sheik? humble. Yeah, yeah. But he uh, he like work. He like did this like comic convention that a friend of mine put on in Florida, and like when he landed, like he like demanded cocaine. <laughs> 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 like, the Iron the Iron Sheik. Would, like, How long ago was this? It's probably like five years ago. Oh my god! Because a lot of those guys changes. do like you know they do autograph signings and yeah he was like if he if it was like one of his demands was for them to get. I have like a bunch of wrestlers all unopened boxes in my house. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. She says which exactly. ones the the rubber ones or the no the the newer ones the newer ones yeah because they have throwbacks of the newer yeah, ones. yeah yeah those are cool. My girlfriend so. says it's tacky and it's disgusting. But it's either, you know, she goes or nothing happens, you know? Yeah. I'm going to stick with my collection. You're going to get beat up no, right not. now. You, gotta look at, you, you have gotta to look, be the man. You got to look at the collection as in it's something you have passion for. And right. it's very rare that you have passion for something. So to you, it's more than plus, a collection. Plus, you never know, like, with those figures, too. They're like, expensive. I have, like, they get expensive. When I was, like, uh, w- when we would tour Japan, uh, that's, my like, my favorite place to tour is Japan because I always go, like, figure shopping or whatever like for action figures and stuff like that and this is like early 2000s and ufc they didn't it was it was before they bought pride mm-hmm. and i wasn't really like a big ufc fan i only liked pride so i bought like four like pride figures from japan like whatever you know like five years later six years later ufc buys pride pride's gone and they take all these fighters and ufc is like the biggest thing each figure i bought those figures are like Three, four hundred dollars a piece. Shit. Right now on eBay, I could sell them for like some of them. I could even close to like five hundred bucks. Do you have like ass load of figures? Yeah, I have a lot of stuff. Oh man, but you, you have never pictures know. like online or something? I would love to see them. Uh, nothing online. No, no. no. All right. Well, I kind of like to keep that secretive, just in case. All right. Well, we're up <laughs> against the no one playing with toys. <laughs> yeah, you know, <laughs> through the boxes, I mean, you can't play yeah, with it. Exactly. <laughs> well, you never know. So you know, you're. Yeah, yeah, it might be five hundred dollars. My One Antonio day. Cesaro. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you never know. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for stopping by. I would love to like chit chat with you guys if you have a little time after you know we come off. Um, well, this is Newfound Glory. Come see him tonight. I will be there. This is the only concert that is in the past. Like I have not been to a concert in like eight years. Um, the last concert I went to see is Steely Dan. Wow. So. This is this is it. This yeah, is my do. Awesome. This is it. This yeah, is my do. Awesome. This is it. 